So often in the human drama, there are three parts people can play. They can play the victim, they can play the rescuer, or they can play the perpetrator. And from the standpoint of being surrendered to life, those labels just don't, don't work. But from the standpoint of the human drama, they're very common and very comfortable. I was going to bring a scarf and demonstrate for each one of them. This is what the perpetrator says. This is what the victim says. And this is what the rescuer says. But mostly I'm interested in the possibility of opening to um, surrendering to what I spoke about last week, Holy Father and Holy Mother. I've had experiences in my life where I put people in the position to represent those things to me and therefore thought I could stop being responsible for those things myself. You're the leader, you're the father representative, tell me what to do. You're the woman in charge, tell me how to be appropriate in this situation. And while I have things to learn from people who know how to do these things better than me, whenever I let go of my own responsibility to bring those things, I'm immediately becoming a member of a cult and I'm not interested. I'm interested in being part of a co-creative family that is surrendered to Mother Divine and Father Divine. There is an act of surrender that makes us powerful, not weak, and as Uma said so beautifully, just puppets of some God separated from ourselves. All lives in me, and that's true for anyone who says so. So I have to take full responsibility for the way I am in my world and the way I am with my friends. I have been in position many times to figure out what the difference was between judgment and discernment. When I'm representing the queen of heaven and earth, my discernment is how I can offer the next best blessing, as opposed to the judgment about how you're not doing it. Or how even how I might be a bad person. Self-judgment isn't a whole lot better than judging something outside yourself. But from the position of being the representative of the mother and the father, the queen and the king, the representative of life, surrendered to that, my discernment is what is the next great thing I can do, the next great blessing I can bring. I regularly pay attention to what's growing in my field. And there are times where I feel like this shouldn't be so hard. And as that Robert, Robert Singer, John Singer, Michael. Michael Singer was saying, there comes a point where it will always be hard unless you're surrendered and knowing life is doing something and you're participating in it and can participate it in a very full way. So paying attention to what's happening increases my conscious participation in my life so that I can be a good representative of the mother and the father and be a good friend and not be a perpetrator, a victim, or a rescuer. All those things are serving a purpose that I'm not interested in. <laughs>